friends and welcome to Good Life. Well, it's Saturday, 7 p.m. and I'm sure you're waiting for us. Well, we're not going to disappoint you because we have a lot of information for you that's coming up through our three segments, fashion, home decor, food. So I'm sure you don't want me to waste much time. So let's begin the first segment of the day, fashion. <laughs> Good evening friends and welcome to our fashion segment. Well, who doesn't want to look beautiful these days? Everybody is trying to look hot, sexy and very, very in vogue these days. Well, we in this fashion segment show you how to dress up elegantly, sophisticated and above all, ravishing. So friends, in today's fashion segment, we have come to the Attica store right here at Panampali Nagar. Well, the first collection that we are going to showcase to you right here is a very beautiful sari which is in Chanderi silk. One look at this and you know that this is a very beautiful and elegant sari. The best part or probably the highlight feature of this particular collection would be the Ari work which is done towards the border. The red Ari work which is done throughout the border is probably the, one of the highlight of this particular collection. Ari work, as most of you don't know, goes back to the 12th century in India and it actually marked the beginning of the Mughal Empire. Here they've given a 3D finishing to this particular Ari work and that's the reason it looks very elegant and very ravishing. Very close look at this particular collection and you can probably see these self stripes that is there on this golden yellow chanderi silk sari. So probably the self stripes on the sari probably gives you that elongated look or probably you tend to look a little taller when you wear those you know uh, stripes. And another thing that I would like to mention to you about this particular collection would be the blouse. The blouse again is in the same color that is the golden yellow chanderi silk and the border has again got the Ari work. It's just not the way how you drape the sari, but also the way you carry yourself that matters. So probably when you adorn this particular collection, you can probably wear a nice red stark lipstick that can actually add to the bold and vintage feel of this particular collection. So friends, if you want to pick up this particular collection, all you need to do is head to the Attica store at Panampali Nagar. So let me show you the next collection. Our second collection is again a very vibrant color and the fabric that's been used in the making of this particular collection is uh, pure woven silk or you can even call it as printed woven silk and again as you can see it's a beautiful combination of uh, orange or tangerine and pink and what I really liked about this particular collection would be the print that is throughout the body of the sari. It's a self printed woven silk and uh, the best part about probably this collection is that you can wear it probably for uh, if you want to go on a day to day wear or even for a nice function also you can adore this particular collection. The USP probably of this particular sari would be the jute border that you can see over here. They've got like nice big beautiful jute border along with a nice pink lining that's been given throughout the sari and that's actually breaks the monotony of the color it breaks the monotony of the color and gives a nice highlight to this particular collection the particular blouse that's been used over here is a total contrast but it also comes with a self blouse piece and probably to give it a more desirable look you can probably you know wear nice accessories and probably um, you know wear a nice magenta lipstick to probably highlight this particular collection. These days everybody wants to adorn a sari in different way. You can drape a sari in so many ways but as I always say the traditional way of draping a sari 
curry is always the best and if you are into you know health and fitness and maintaining a fit body then probably showing a little bit of the midriff would really so temperatures well these days everybody is busy trying to get healthy and get those washboard abs and what better to look more sexy than wearing a nice beautiful sari Next collection is a designer collection right here at the Attica store and as you can see over here it's totally done in pure jute and jute is a very rich fabric and apart from being rich it's very environmental friendly as well another highlight point of this particular grey jute sari would be the raw silk that is probably given here in the border this magenta strip that is given over here is in raw silk and also another high highlight point of this particular collection would be this lace that's been given in this designer collection which is again done in digital thread work so that's again a usp of this particular collection which makes it look more flamboyant and rich it's also towards the pallu if you have a look at the pallu area it also has the raw silk lining as well as the lace that's been given with the digital thread work the blouse piece over here the blouse again here is done in raw silk material and also you can see the red which breaks the monotony of the magenta color probably if you want to complete the look of this particular collection you can wear a nice magenta lipstick and probably wear a nice bun a high bun and look very very classy and elegant and uh, this obviously is a party wear collection and i'm sure when you wear this particular collection you are going to be a head turner and everyone's going to ask you that where exactly did you pick it up from so all you need to answer is the attica store right here at panampali nagar so friends if you like the collections that we showcase to you here today all you need to do is head to the Attica store in Panampali Nagar and pick up the ones that you like Is everybody is brand conscious, be it in the clothing they wear, be it in the restaurant they go to dine. And how can you forget then the kind of furniture that you want to keep it in your house? Well, friends, that is where we at Good Life show you which stores to go to so that you can get the furniture of your choice. Well, in today's Home Decor segment, we have come to an exclusive store, one of a kind, called as the Simply Sofa, which is bang opposite to White Fort Hotel, right here at the Kundanur Bypass. Well, what's so exclusive here? What makes this store so exclusive? Well, this is one of its kind where you have the Natuzi collection. Natuzi is the world's largest manufacturer of sofa. In fact, these are called as the trend setter in the industry. Well, one look at this particular collection that I'm sitting at, you will be like, oh my God, you definitely want to own one of this. Well, what's so peculiar about this particular collection is that it's very sophisticated, elegant, and not to mention it's Natuzi leather. Well, this is very sophisticated, elegant and classy and above all leather. Well, leather, I would say, is a lifelong investment. You invest in leather and you are sorted for a lifetime. Well, white in color, you can custom make this into whichever color you want, whichever configuration you want. Like the th thing that is used over here is basically 2 plus 2. But if you want them in say 3 plus 2 or say 2 plus 1, whatever the configuration you want it, you can have them. And they custom make it right here at the Simply Sofa store. 
The material that has been used in this form is called as the EcoFlex, which is also uh, the similar one which is used in the aircraft seats as well. The internal structures are basically made up of hardwood and um, the best part about this particular collection, which is called as the Brio collection, is that this is totally can be used as a formal as well as an informal living. For example, you can sit here like a proper formal uh, thing and if you want to use this like a proper informal living then all you need to do is probably touch at this side and you can see it rolling down there so that you can actually sit down relax and enjoy the extravaganza or probably the luxury of sitting and I mean probably like lying down and watching TV and all this just works with the sensor of the touch and if you want to probably put it back the same way then all you need to do is touch beside that and it goes back to where it was well this works in all the configuration that is you know whatever configuration that you're going to use it's going to work in everything and this is a unique and one of its kind and what I really like about this particular Brio collection is that it's very elegant and above all the color white would suit any kind of a wall if you're planning to choose a probably a very different kind of wallpaper probably say gray or say black or whatever you like to choose white is a totally angelic color which really really adds a lot to the illumination of the room and probably given you that illusion of space in your living room also another unique feature about this particular collection would be the center table any living room is incomplete without a center table you can see a drop shaped uh, center table right over there which is quite spacious i would say another feature of this particular center table is that it's low in height and the sides are made up of steel the legs are made up of steel and the top area is made up of glass very sophisticated very elegant and very apt for this particular collection Any living room is totally incomplete without a proper shelf or a cabinet. Well, the ones that you can see over here is totally detachable where you can keep your books, artifacts and whatnot. Well, another USP of this particular collection would be this four cube cabinet that you can see over here, which again is in white color to match that of the Natuzi collection so far. And this is you can open this probably in the touch it's like a soft touch open and you can open this and you can see it's very spacious inside and you can probably put whatever you want inside you know so that it the room looks totally clutter free well friends this is a beautiful brio collection that we showcase to you right here at simply sofa and if you want to make your living room as elegant sophisticated and classy as this all you need to do is come here to the simply sofa store right here at the kundanur bypass because this is where you get the answers to all your queries about your living room so friends, we have come to the end of this segment of Home Decker. Hope you really loved what we showcased to you. See you soon in the next segment. Good evening friends and welcome to our food segment. Well, before I begin this food segment, I would like to quote our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, who said, Health is a real wealth and not merely the pieces of gold and silver. Yes, friends, it's very important to live a healthy lifestyle. On that note, let's just eat healthy and lead a very happy and merry life. Before I begin today's food segment, let me tell you where we have come today. We have come to this themed restaurant called as the Hot Jungle right here at the bypass next to Oberon Mall, Cochin. Well, the best part about this particular hotel it has the theme of a jungle and the interiors are very very refreshing something which is very different that you must not have seen 
in your usual restaurants. And apart from that, the menus right here are very different, unique and oh so enchanting. And today with us, we have the right person, the food and beverage director, Mr. Mahin with us to tell you more about the menu that is served over here. Hi, Mr. Mahin. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm good. Welcome to our show, Good Life. And uh, let me tell you, I really like the ambience of this particular restaurant, something which is very different. So before I begin with the menu, I would like to know how come you came up with this concept? No, this is uh, mainly, we have two directors, mm -hmm. one Mr. Shahir and one Mr. Mahrab. Right. They are uh, their dream project is one. Okay. They are, uh, before one year they are planning this one. Okay. Like, uh, we don't have in Kerala like this. Yeah, yeah, it's jungle very different. Yeah, yeah, it's jungle, very different, yeah. Jungle type thing yeah. restaurant. So, they start to plan that one. Then, they find a place. This uh, before we have here one restaurant. Okay. And uh, they take this one. Right. They start the work. Okay. They start to finish and uh, they need to finish within two months. Okay. But that is not finished. Within uh, the work finish at least six to se uh, seven months. Seven we take. months, right? Then we started this one last month. Right. So for those of you who really have not come to this particular hot jungle restaurant, let me just tell you the interiors and the ambience is very, very different. Something which will really interest a lot of kids and a lot of people here because I always feel it's just not the menu that is diff that should be different and enticing but also the ambience. And this restaurant gives you a totally different feel and you can experience something very different when you come to this particular restaurant. So Mr. Mahim, yes. like you, the name of the restaurant is Hot Jungle. Hot Jungle, yeah. So uh, do you have some different uh, menus or different recipes, you know, revolving around this theme in this particular restaurant? We have the different recipes, but mm -hmm. not the jungle based that one. Okay. Yeah. But we are serving the multi uh, Yeah, So you get a feel that you're sitting inside a jungle, jungle and having yeah. dinner or lunch yes, or whatever. Yes. Okay. So let me begin with these colorful dishes that's been kept. So we have, one, me, we have one. We have one. Very aromatic. Yes, we have one as starter. Uh -huh. As a kumpao chicken. This is the kumpao. Kumpao chicken. chicken. Okay. And so as the name suggests, kumpao chicken, I think it is more like a Chinese. Chinese. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this one, a timsa rice. Okay. And this is a royal faluda. We are serving the jungle special faluda. Faluda. So we have the starter, and then we have. The, um, we have the main course and then we have top it all the best part of a meal and that is the desert so uh, let's get into first into the appetizer yes. again as he mentioned before it is a Chinese based starter and uh, again based of it's in chicken right chicken yeah my favorite chicken so what has gone into the making of this yes uh, this one we have First, we have uh, deep frying the chicken okay. with a batter mm -hmm. with some corn flour okay. and maida right. and salt, soya okay. sauce. Like so, this. it's an out and out Chinese. Yes. It's an out and out Chinese. So, yes. it, uh, this is basically to suit the Indian palate or mm. it's like proper Chinese dish? No, we are, uh, we are adding. The Indian taste also. In yes, Israel. because you know a lot of us uh, Indians or in fact Malayalis don't really prefer the authentic Chinese. So we really uh, mix it, most of the chefs yes. really mix it the Indian way so that it really suits the Indian palate. So chef, let me uh, dig into the yeah, sure, starter. Sure. I'm hungry. So <laughs> The Kaum Pao Chicken. Kaum Pao Chicken. Kaum Pao Chicken. So right. why we are calling kung pao chicken, we are adding that one uh, peanuts. Peanut, oh okay. And uh, that uh, dry chili also. Right. Mmm. Yeah. It's a dry dish. Now I know why it suits the Indian palate. It's a little spicy. spicy. We Indians love spicy food. And um, the best part about this is, it's very succulent. It's not too spicy. It has a right amount of spice, which we Indians will love it because it's absolute tantalizing to your taste buds. So, chef, what is next in the menu? Next, uh, this one tim sa rice. Okay. This is uh, a mixer. We are mixing with uh, noodle okay. and uh, rice. Okay. And on the top, uh, chicken cubes. Okay. And uh, adding some tomato sauce, and we are making one masala like. 
right uh, yes. so it, it's a combination of rice yes. noodles yes. and chicken yes. so this is called as the timsa rice timsa rice so yes. friends this is a totally different menu so how different is it from the chow mein no chow mein no, only the noodles no so there is a dish no, which you have rice and noodles what do you call that that one we will uh, triple sesh one like that uh, okay we'll call, yeah. so okay so this is the uh, team cha rice right team sa rice team sa rice yes. where you have the rice then you have the noodles and then I you have some? the chicken oh yes mm. chef definitely you can serve that for me you can do the honors so for those of you who love rice and who love noodles and who love chicken probably this is the ideal dish for you the uh, the ideal main course because it has a combination of everything and the chicken also and the chicken yes so somebody like me who love rice who love chicken and who love noodles can dig into something as yummy as this okay. delicious again the right amount of spice the rice noodles melt into your mouth and it's something which you would really relish chef i absolutely love the chinese preparation yes. now we come to the main part Maybe. of the meal that is the dessert which i'm sure everybody loves to have um i'm no exception so chef what is this i think this is something very colorful we are serving the special falooda for a uh, hot jungle we are serving this one okay special this is falooda. something jungle based yes jungle because of the color all okay <laughs> you can see the mixture of color you can see the yellow you can see the green you can see the pink everything yes. and the best part top it with a cherry sure. so uh, this is a falooda the jungle based falooda you know uh, for those who has sweet tooth um it's it's very mandatory or in fact you feel really filled only if you have a dessert towards the end of a meal so if i don't have this dessert i would be doing absolute injustice to this restaurant yeah, right yeah sure so i'll have this falooda that uh, flakes and all into yeah. it right yummy totally delicious totally delectable i would recommend all of you who love chinese and who love to experience something very different to please come to this restaurant called as hot jungle right here next to the ubron mall because you get absolutely lip smacking dishes right here So friends on this note we end this particular segment of food right here thank you so much mr mahin for being with yeah. us it was an absolute pleasure having you on the show thank you before i end this particular segment i thought it was very important for me to share my knowledge on a little bit of uh, you know tidbit with you see we women spend so much of time and money in cosmetologists and you know doing everything what not to look so beautiful and good looking and being young but what if you can eat something as good as that and become you know really beautiful and skin to be really glowing well friends let me explain to you the importance of pomegranate well i happen to learn that pomegranate which is one of the oldest fruit known to man if you have that it is the best way to stay young because the seed that is right inside the arils of pomegranate has the special oil which will actually make your skin glow reduce wrinkles and give you that soft and supple skin throughout so why waste money on all those creams when you can just head to the grocery and get your pomegranate so on this note we come to the end of this food segment i'll see you soon So it's 7:30 and time to wind up. So I know you guys are sad as much as I am, but I'll see you next week. So till then, keep smiling, have fun, and don't forget to keep helping everybody that comes your way because keep helping, stay happy, stay merry.